of the British Business Boost was a fantastic initiative, which is uh, timed perfectly to to match the surge of new entrepreneurial growth. In the later stages of the recession, you start the people who are anticipating the growth and recovery get busy starting to build businesses again. And that's where we are right now. And so I wanted to participate and to support that and to promote you know, entrepreneurship and uh, make sure that the, the smart, hardworking business builders win. The owner manager, the entrepreneur, the business builder, however you want to refer to him or her, is really the engine of society. And in, in my world, frankly, I think they're the hero. They're the people who have the, bus the market and business insight. They're the creator of value. These are the people who put it all on the line. Sometimes they're putting their houses on their line. They're changing the course of their lives. Frankly, we're, we're fortunate that they choose to live abnormal lives to bring the new, new thing or the new service or the latest business idea to life. They're the ones who make society move forward. So without them, we would not enjoy the wonderful living conditions that we have here. And they, they, they bring the economy back to life and drive that growth and create the value. So uh, it is because they are so fundamental to the very way that we live here that I, that I try to shine a spotlight on them. Well, I think government creates a very important uh, 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 environment, a context for it. So if we have a kind of positive oxygen, a confidence in society, if the average uh, individual with a little bit of money who wants to invest in high growth companies believes it's a good thing to grow, invest in high growth companies, it's because government has done a, jo a, a good job creating confidence in the system. If there's not a lot of confidence that these small businesses are going to grow and in some cases become global leaders, if people don't believe that business has a chance and they believe that the entrepreneur has a kind of yoke around their neck, then I would argue that the government hasn't done a good job to create the infrastructure, the confidence and the context for those businesses to succeed. But fundamentally, government doesn't create revenue. Government doesn't create business. Government doesn't drive economic growth. It's only business people who can do that. The role of big business is vital in creating a very um, thriving innovation culture in society in general. So the fast-growing SME startup can only get it so far. They, they, the entrepreneur, will have the insight into a new consumer behavior or a new enterprise application. And they'll have to take that to market and prove the business model. But then they have to scale on behalf of partners, large corporates like Siemens Enterprise Communications, that can help that startup reach millions of users and customers. So I'm pleased to be part of an initiative where Siemens Enterprise Communications shows a real leadership and an understanding of how innovation works in the year 2010, because it is on the back of corporates reaching into the fast-growing, high-growth sector that we get global leading firms coming out of the UK. Well, we fundamentally look for entrepreneurs with a track record of success. That doesn't mean that they have sold their business for $100 million. They might have sold a small business and they be, might be on for uh, the next business that they really want to uh, hit out of the ballpark. But fundamentally, somebody who has uh, built a career, um, disciplined, hardworking, smart, and demonstrated that they have insight into where markets are going. They, they may have run a business unit. They may have run a family business. But they've demonstrated a track record of success and a, a level of personal character and dynamism. They're probably a strong sales, marketing communicator, and they have a game-changing idea. They're, they don't just want to be another me too anything. They want to redefine a space. They want to take it to the next level. They want to create a gold standard. People with real vision and ambition. Somebody, when you meet them and you hear their idea, you say, good Lord, are they going to be successful?